It is Tommy time With Tommy Sam And if you like comics This is gonna blow your mind What's up everyone, Tommy Syme here. How you doing? It's February 1st, 2016. Nine more days until the Deadpool movie. Now most of you know that I'm not really big on Marvel, but you know what? I don't completely hate Marvel. I actually love Deadpool and I love Black Widow and I love Scarlet Witch. Those are my three main Marvel characters that I actually do like and I actually read their books and stuff like that. So I'm always about DC and I'm not really into Marvel but I do make an exception for a few characters check this out Deadpool and Cable this is the new series that they came out with this is the second issue this is a good one Cable's cool too he's not one of my favorites but I do like Cable and the new mutants and X-Force and all that stuff is good um, you know I'm just choose to be a DC guy cuz I love DC and you know anyways oh actually Marvel I saw a million dollars the CEO of Marvel gave to Donald Trump's campaign or something like that. It's like, wow, I'm glad that didn't happen with DC. But, you know, anyways, Deadpool's cool. Check this out. This is a reprint of New Mutants 98 right here. This was a dollar. They came out with these a few weeks ago. Marvel True Believers. And then they got a whole bunch of different ones, too. They got reprints of these famous Deadpool stories. Deadpool the musical number one right there. Here's Deadpool number one, the variants. This was a dollar as well. It's a pretty cool cover. Here is evil Deadpool number one. I like that cover a lot. It's like all of his different suits sewn together. They got the X-Force suit, which is the gray and the black one. They got the red and black one, and then even the X-Men blue and yellow one there, all sewn together. I haven't read that story before. But, you know, Deadpool is pretty cool, so I can't wait for that movie. I'm, gonna, I'm going to see it, the first showing, on the 11th. Actually, it's the 10th. It is the day before it comes out, so I cannot wait. All right, Scarlet Witch number two. Now, this is a really good book they just came out with. This is the second one. So I'm kind of doing a little Marvel thing right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm not really totally into Marvel. So, I thought I would show you what I do like from Marvel. Check this out, Scarlet Witch 2. This is a good, good, really good series, actually. They just came out with this. It's almost got the same kind of feeling as the Black Widow story that they actually kind of stopped writing. I haven't seen a new Black Widow issue in a while, but I've got all of those ones. And this is the second one of Scarlet Witch. You should check that out. She kind of works with the police department. A little bit helps them out with murders and stuff like that. Captain Marvel number one. I picked this up because everyone makes a huge fuss out of Captain Marvel. I don't know if supposedly they're going to make a Captain Marvel movie. I don't know. But, you know, a lot of people online making a big fuss about this. Now, I got something to show you right here. Check this out. I showed you the reprint. Well, I've got this. This is an original New Mutants 98 9.4 this is my CGC copy of this check this out 9.4 you know it's cool I got this actually I got it the day they announced the Deadpool movie but I got an even bigger surprise for you my good buddy Pete from Heroes Haven Comics in Tampa Bay he sent me this in the mail I got a surprise for you so let me open this up and this is the first time I've seen it I know what it is, but I haven't opened it yet. I thought I'd do it right now for you guys. Guess what it is. Let's see. What is it? Bubble wraps. That's good. Good work, Pete. <laughs> Ooh. All right. Here we go. Yeah. Bubble wrapped. Let's see what this is. I know what it is, but it's a big surprise for you guys. I wanted to show you when I open this. Let's get to it here. Here we go. Here we go. I sent this in. I got this book from my buddy Daniel in Lansing, Michigan, Red Fox Comics. So I sent it in to Pete at Heroes Haven in Tampa Bay. Check them out. They're awesome dudes. Look at what I got here. 
New Mutants 98. 9.8. 9.8 copy. Oh, yes. It's almost like OCD the way I am about this because it's New Mutants 98 and then the grade is 9.8. So, you know, it kind of matches. I'm not normally OCD about stuff, but, you know, I had this 9.4 and I really wanted 9.8. If you notice online in Facebook groups, everyone's really, like, weird about 9.8s. Like, they're not satisfied until they have a 9.8 copy of something. So it kind of, like, rubbed off on me almost, but... I got 9.4, I'm about to sell this one, to be honest with you, for this guy right here, 9.8. I'm not gonna sell this right now. Pete, you did an amazing job. You did an amazing job. Check out Heroes Haven, seriously, they're awesome dudes. Pete will press comics, and they'll be higher grades than they would be if you sent it in without being pressed. I don't know how he does it, it's kinda like a secret, but Hit up Pete at Heroes Haven. I got a couple more things to show you real quick. Batman and Robin Eternal 17. This is probably my favorite series right now. Weekly series. There's some awesome stuff going on in here. Awesome characters. Best series in my opinion. Besides Catwoman. But Deathstroke number 14. Look at that cover. It's purple and orange. The way that looks is just awesome. I love this. Tyler Kirkham does the art on this now. He was an apprentice of Tony Daniel. You can't even tell. I couldn't tell that this was a different artist. I thought this was Tony Daniel still. It's amazing. He draws exactly like Tony Daniel. The series, there's no difference between his art and Tyler's art. It's awesome. I love this story. Pick this up. This is a real good story. Look at this cover. We are Robin 8. It's got the Joker smiley face with the green on there. This group of dudes right here they're called the jokers this is the first appearance of them this cover is really cool looking i like this everybody was talking about this like you gotta go pick this one up let's see what else i got suicide squad most wanted dead shot and katana this is the dead shot cover look at that that's the will smith dead shot i don't think he really looks like that in any of the comics well until now rumor has it dc is gonna do a suicide squad Wonder Woman, Batman, Superman oriented series. Like they're gonna have all their attention focused on those characters because the movie's coming out. You know, this cover is amazing, but look at this. This is the same one. This is the different cover though. Look at that watercolor. That is amazing. This painting. It looks like a freaking painting. It doesn't even look like a normal comic book. I love the style of comic art. This is my favorite cover out of the two. Just a beautiful watercolor painting of Katana right there. Beautiful cover. Suicide Squad Most Wanted. Check it out. You gotta get it. I got JLA number seven. This is the end of the first act of the storyline. So if you want to start reading it, I suggest you start from number one and go all the way to seven. And then I assume number eight will be a whole new storyline. But this is a very good series. Pick it up. JLA. Now, everyone knows adult coloring books are like this new cool thing, right? Well, check this out. I got a couple more of them. Deathstroke. It's a pretty sweet looking one. And I got JLA right here. And the cool thing about these is you can color these and have CGC grade them. And they'll have your name printed on the label as like you're the artist. And my buddies at Heroes Haven Comics, they'll do it for you. So color it and send it in. You gotta send a picture of yourself holding it so they know it's actually you. And they'll put your name on the label and you'll be the artist. But it, you gotta do it pretty fast. Go talk to Pete from Heroes Haven and they'll tell you what you gotta do. Man, look at, look at this. 9.8, New Mutants 98. I can't thank you enough, Pete. Thanks a lot. And Daniel, thanks for hooking me up with this. I'm out of here, guys. I will see you next week.